Oh, in the saints. I'm back, everybody. Go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, Lord, I want to be in the number. When the saints go marching in. Good afternoon, everyone. Or you might be saying good morning, or you might be saying good evening, but whenever you're watching this, we're excited that you have joined us because we have a very special guest today on the Molly Brown Show. And this guest is none other than Lucy Farrow. Lucy, I have been chatting with Lucy. I just met her. And uh, what a fascinating life you have lived and are living and you're going to be at the Burford at the 100 Year Blessing and the Butterfly Effect on Saturday afternoon, May the 28th. And so I've asked Lucy to come and give us a sneak preview. How, and how did you end up in the middle of one of the greatest revivals uh, in, in our, certainly in our nation, and it spread around the world. And you are kind of a secret agent. Well, maybe that's not exactly true, but she was a great secret to me. And she, without Lucy Farrow, there would have been no Azusa Street revival. So Lucy, welcome. And Thank why you, don't Mom. you just kind of start and give these lovely people a sneak preview of, of who you are. And what in the world were you doing in the middle of these exciting events? Well, thank you for having me, Miss Molly. Yes. Hey. And excuse me for my traveling clothes, because I just got back from Africa. Wow. Yes, ma'am. Now, what is a Negro, a single Negro woman? Well, I went on a mission trip. Yes. And it was a lovely time with the crew people. Okay. God just done so many unexpected things over there in Africa. Yes. Where did you go in Africa? Well, I went to uh, Johnsonville uh -huh. Liberia. Liberia. Yes. And wow. it was a beautiful time. But before that, I tell you what, Miss Molly, God has been working a mm. mighty work through the people. His Holy Spirit has come down, and he sent an outpouring of his spirit upon all flesh. That's what the yes, word says. Yes, that's what the word says. Yes. Yeah. And you know, at this time in our lives, we're not supposed to be together. Well, now isn't that the truth? That is right. Look what the Lord has done. You so, mean. us Negroes and the white man, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we all gather, mm -hmm. and some receive the Holy Spirit. Yes. And what year was that? What what year was it? Are you talking about in Topeka in 1901? I am talking about down in Houston. You, well, in so in 1905. My goodness. Where Mr. Par Parham. Yes, Charles. He came down and he was doing a crusade down there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I happened to be there at the crusade. Mm -hmm. And somehow I ended up back in Kansas. Oh my goodness, now how does that happen? Well, I went there as a governess. Took care of his children. I took care children. of his children and his wife, Sarah. Yes. And yes. you know what? Somehow I received the Holy Ghost. Yes. And I had the speaking of tongues happen then. Right there in yep. Charles's In Charles's home, home. yes ma'am. And you know what? I had to leave my church. And I left it in well, the hands. I left it in the hands of my dear friend. He's a good young man. Yes, Mr. William Seymour. He took care of my church until I got back. You know, I have heard the name William Seymour. So yes. you're saying that he was your friend yes. in Houston. Yes, ma'am. Before you went to Kansas with Charles. Yes, ma'am. And then when you and Charles went back. And he started his Bible school? Yes, ma'am. How did William Seymour get connected to Charles Parham's Bible school? Through me. And you know back I then, thought. us Negroes weren't allowed to go in school with white folk. 
Isn't that a shame? So he had to learn from the outside. But he did. But he did. He did. He did, yes, ma'am. And so how did he get from Houston? Did you help him get from Houston well, to California? The Azusa people, yes. street people, yes. they helped with that. Yes. There was money made and money sent for him a ticket to come be with me. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Well, Lucy, it looks to me like that you are a connector between the experience of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in Topeka to the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in Houston and then Mr. Seymour, your friend, because of you, yes. because of a good woman. Yes. You can't keep a good woman. No, down. you can't. No, you can't. You Not can't be doing that. Not a Holy Ghost filled woman. Not a Holy Ghost filled no, woman. Keep no, us down. No, 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 no. And I tell you what, you are a force to be reckoned with. Women who are filled with the Holy oh, yes. Spirit are a force to be reckoned with. And so you were, you were the connector between. Topeka, Kansas, and Azusa, California. And I just want Lucy to look into the camera right there and just invite the people to come and hear your story on May the 28th. Yes, I would like to invite you all out to come hear how God poured out his Holy Spirit on those people at those times and on those dates back so many years ago he did mm. it back then he can do it again and i tell mm. you what mm. if you want to hear about how he poured his spirit out and how he used me oh how he used me yes he used this little old lady this yes. little lady to as an instrument to touch the people and they received the holy ghost and they were speaking in tongues as the bible said the 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 giving utterance of it and they were and that was the and that was it they were spoke they were speaking in tongues and you know, Lucy, I think that the, the friends that are watching this today would also like to, to know that you only, as you were telling me earlier, you only ministered as God directed you to. God told you, oh, yes. and that, and then so it wasn't like, oh, I'd like to see this person helped, or, or it was nothing of your flesh. You were led by the Holy Spirit. Yes, ma'am. I did yeah. not touch anyone unless the God above told me to touch them. That's right. And once I touched him, it was him that did it, not me. He just used me as his vessel. Praise God. Praise God. You Praise know what? God. He's still using people as his vessel. And we're going to hear some more about this. I'm so thrilled to have had this time with you. I hope we have many more times together. So thank you for joining us today. And we're going to wrap it up and just invite you once again to hear Lucy's story, hear William Seymour's story, hear Charles Parham's story, and the whole crew will be together there at the Burford Theater. Thanks for watching and have a great day.